Okay, domain is only positive value because the logarithm, logarithmic function do not accept negative value and zero. Domain is then from zero to infinity. Uh -huh. Now, if you want to find, for example, the y in set, the value of the function is zero. Hmm, it's impossible. Zero, the logarithm of zero is undefined. Undefined. That means that we have no, no y in a set. Okay, x in a set is a function equal to zero. Solve this equation. This x times ln x squared equals zero. Uh -huh. The only possibility to be zero is in zero. Instead of zero, okay, do have two possibilities x equals zero and ln x equal to zero. Okay, it's equivalent to say x equal one. x equals zero, no. We see before. x equal one, yes. x equal one is the only uh, x in a thing we have. We have the in a set one comma zero. Okay. Okay, now the end behavior. A behavior is limited when the x approaches to infinity positive. No infinity negative because the domain is only for positive value of the x ln x square. Uh -huh. Plugging in here is obvious because infinity. Uh, that means that our graph will look like, like that. When the x approaches to infinity, y approaches to infinity. Somehow, it's like that. Now, uh, vertical acid. We have, I don't know, I don't know if we have vertical acid because I know that the logarithmic function without x and square have a vertical acid on here and zero. But I need to find the value when you approach it to zero. The function. I don't know exactly what happened when you approach it to zero. Let's say it's limited. When the x approaches to zero plus, of course, of the n x ln of x squared. Substitution is a zero times logarithm of zero square. is a negative infinity, squared plus infinity is a zero times infinity case uh, indeterminate. Indeterminate, you need in order to find, you need to apply. Uh, the Lapita rule exactly we studied before. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I recommend you convert in that way. Limit it when the x approaches to zero plus. Uh -huh, you copy logarithm of x squared in the top, and you put one over x in the bottom. Uh -huh, now plug it in. This is zero is in minus infinity over infinity. Ready to apply Lapita rule. Uh -huh. This will apply limited when the x approaches to zero plus and differentiation. Derivative of this guy is two logarithm of x times derivative of logarithm of one over x. Uh -huh. um, derivative of this is negative one over x squared. Derivative of this. Okay, now simplification, no, no, no simplification, well, no, you can, of course, all right, let me see, mm, you cancel out this x and one x here, and stay 2 ln x uh -huh, divided by negative 1 over x, uh -huh. perfect, when you used to do your one more time, we get Logarithm of zero is infinity, negative infinity, over negative infinity. Again, L'Hopital. The last, I suppose it's the last, L'Hopital. Here. L'Hopital root one more time. Mm -hmm. It's a limit. And the x approaches to zero plus. Okay, derivative of two natural logarithm is, is two. 
to 1 over x because the derivative of the is 1 over x let me see, let me see yes and the derivative of the bottom part is negative uh, actually, uh -huh, a negative negative 1 over x squared okay, this is only to say we cancel again we have then mm, mm, minus x 2x divided by 1 uh -huh, minus 2x and evaluating 0 uh, the answer is negative 2 times 0 is obviously 0 uh -huh, so we have no very acid because we discovered that when you approach it to 0 the, the curve approaches to 0 but, but never touch we have here a hole because it's undefined ok ok let's go to the calculus bar we compute the first derivative of this it's obvious that we apply product rule so says derivative is 1 multiplication by the second function plus derivative this is 2 logarithm of x times derivative logarithm of 1 over x times x this x is cancelled and the derivative is then uh, logarithm square plus 2 times ln x equal equal to 0 in order to find critical point Okay, entonces this is equation I factorization logarithm of x and we have logarithm of x plus 2 equal to 0. Uh -huh. And logarithm of x equals 0, está, equals 0, is when the x is 1. And logarithm of x plus 2 equal to 0 is when the logarithm of x is equal to negative 2 you convert to exponential is x is equal e to the minus 2 or 1 over e square okay so we have two critical no? 1 and 1 over e square okay, by the way when you put in the calculator this is approximately 0 0.135 are ready now to apply the first derivative test we have this picture we have one critical value or critical point and one over e square is approximately 0 0.135 we have another in one and you select the testing and maybe 0 0.1 maybe 0 0.5 and maybe two. and you evaluate the first derivative in this point okay, plug it in plug it in plug it in plug it in here and the first derivative expression 0 0.1 here uh, Zero point five and see and two. Okay, I got it. The answer is zero point sixty nine and got calculated of course. Negative zero point nine five eight and one point eighty six. Okay, that's mean okay, in this interval the function is increasing, this is decreasing, and this is increasing again. This is the local max and this is the local mean okay we want to define the local max and local mean you evaluate the original function you evaluate the original function and 1 over e square okay, is this number and the answer is approximately in decimal 0 0.54 and evaluate the function in 1 and the answer is let me see 1 1 or even 1 is 0 0 the answer is 0 the answer is 0 Okay. Now let's go to the second derivative analysis. Okay, second derivative. Derivative is 2 ln of x raised to the 1 power. Derivative ln is 1 over x plus 2 over x. 
Uh-huh. Using a 2 over x as common factor, we have ln x plus 1. Equal to 0, I'm going to define critical value. The only possibility we have x ln plus 1 is equal to 0, ln x equal negative 1, combined to exponential, uh, x is equal e to the minus 1, takes 1 over e. 1 over e, 1 over e is approximately equal to the calculator. Approximately, wait, wait, approximately uh, 0 0.36. So you analyze the possibility that this point, 1 over e, okay, 0 0.36, would be or no inflection point. Let me see. Mm -hmm. You select, for example, point 1. You select, for example, point 5. And evaluate this and the second derivative. The second derivative evaluate point 1. Mm -hmm. The answer is minus 26.05. This is using calculator, of course. And second derivative point 0.5 is 1.227. That means that this is inflation, inflation down, um, concave down, sorry, and it's a concave up. For sure, this is inflation point. I'm going to find the y value associated with this u plug in input and the original equation. The original equation, remember, was m of x is equal. Well, this is the original. Wow. This is the original. This is your original. The only thing you should do is substitution. Uh, m evaluate 1 over e. This is 1 over e. Logarithm 1 over e square. Okay, logarithm 1 over e is negative 1. And negative 1 squared plus the 1. The answer is 1 over e. That point is the point 1 over e, que is the x value, comma 1 over e, que is the y value. This is a coincidence. This is the inflection point. Okay, this is a decimal simulation. Uh -huh. We have here. Uh, local maximum. Okay, we have here local minimum, and we have here inflation point. Uh, this is the pressure for the first derivative with the negative decreasing, decreasing that part, with a positive increasing that part. Again, repetition. This is local max, and this is local min. This is the pressure for the second derivative. When it positive, it's concave up. When the negative, it's concave down. And the point in which change the concavity is here. It's 1 over e, 1 over e. Super perfect. 